Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to look at the difference between Keynesian economics and monetarist economics. So, let's get started to discuss the topic in detail. Coming to the first kind of difference, uh, here we have to start with the evolution of both the Keynesian economics and the monetarist economics. We could see that the Keynesian economics was something that got developed after the 1930s depression. And it was Keynes who had given some set of ideas that was uh, which uh, work as something against the classical idea. So Keynes was actually uh, criticizing, criticizing uh, the classical ideas. And uh, as a result of the 1930s depression, uh, the world would find that going as per the classical ideas was not a solution to come up or recover from Great Depression. And it was in, during that time that Keynes came up with his famous work, General Theory. And in his General Theory, uh, his book's name is General Theory. This is actually the short form. Uh, the full book is General Theory of Employment, Interest and Income. And in this particular book, he was emphasizing the role of government and he was putting forward all of his criticisms regarding the uh, classical school of thought and these set of ideas later uh, got support from various other economists we call such a branch of economics as Keynesian economics. Now moving to monetarist economics this is something that got developed uh, during the 1970s and the person who is behind uh, monetarist economics is Milton Freeman. He was the one who developed uh, the monetarist economics and that is why he is known as the father of monetarism. Let's see the basic differences between Keynesian economics and monetarist economics here. Now, regarding control of the economy, how can the economy be controlled? So Keynesian economics was supporting one set of ideas and monetarist economics was supporting another set of ideas. Keynes was saying that the role of government should be emphasized. Government should be made to interfere or the, it should be made to intervene in the economic activities. The classical always believed that non-intervention of government. And they believe that if there is any problem in the market, demand and supply would make some adjustment with each other and the problem would be resolved. We can reach an equilibrium and that is what the classical economics told, economists told. But this idea got criticism from Keynesian economics and Keynes was emphasizing the role of government, especially during the depression time. So if economy faced some kind of problem, people would be mostly pessimistic. This is because people will think uh, everything in terms of negative mentality. They will not be having anything optimism or any element of optimism in their thought. And as a result, the marginal efficiency of capital would be coming down. And for the very same reason, investment won't be there. And what Keynes uh, have told here is that there should be something called government spending. Government should, spending should be there. And this government spending will be a last creating some aggregate expenditure. The aggregate expenditure will be increasing as a result of the multiplier effect. So multiplier effect was something Keynes was talking about. And for multiplier effect to work, the rule of government is inevitable. So the idea of multiplier also uh, got emphasized by the Keynesian economists. Now coming to uh, the monetarist economics, uh, mon the father of monetarism, Milton Friedman, as well as the supporters of monetarist economics, always identified the role of Federal Reserve. When we say Federal Reserve, this is something that involves the Central Bank of the US. But uh, you can just generalize by considering the central banks. Every nation would be having their 
central bank india is having uh, its central bank known as the reserve bank of india so when there is any problem in the economy is the main stance the main action should be taken by the central bank and that is what uh, the monetarist economists always believed in and they should regulate the money circulation and it is how the problems in the economy could be resolved this is what the monetarist economists economics and economists believed in now what with respect to inflation as per um, keynes and his supporters if there is any problem in the economy we have to make adjustment with respect to government spending so government spending should be regulated in order to control inflation we know that when as far as government spending is concerned this is uh, something on keynesian economics and this is something in monetarist economics and keynesian economists always believe that uh, during the times of inflation if there is inflation people will be having more money with them uh, so there is something that could import uh, the flow of money to the hands of people this is what is increasing and for the very same reason money will be losing its value that is what inflation tells you and during the times of inflation uh, the government can use both of its fiscal policy tools the government can use its fiscal policy how it can reduce its spending government can reduce its spending to deal with uh, inflation and also it can increase taxes so that money will be flowing from the hands of people to the government and this is what keynesian economics believed in but in the case of monetarism or monetarist economics they believed in the idea of controlling the money supply so here comes the role of central bank again how can the central bank control money supply they can reduce or increase the interest rate during the times of inflation the central bank should increase the interest rate so whenever uh, they increase the interest rate people will be reluctant to take a loan from bank and the, so that the spending will be reduced so an increase in interest rate will be controlling or regulating or reducing inflation in the economy and that is something which has to be given prominence and this is what is told by the monetarist economists so what we could see is that anyway inflation is something uh, if it is beyond a particular limit it's a bad thing to have in the economy so uh, keynes and his supporters were trying to address this situation by uh, emphasizing the role of government in dealing with the inflationary scenario whereas monetarist economists always consider the role of central banks uh to deal with inflationary pressure on the economy now what about the unemployment coming to keynesian economics and monetarist economics here also we could see that keynesian economics was emphasizing reducing unemployment so this was the prominent uh aspect to which keynes were as well as his supporters were giving an importance to rather than reducing and inflation it is very much important to reduce unemployment because we are all are dealing with the situation of reduced aggregate demand and this was the problem during depression so when reduced aggregate demand comes it will definitely take the economy to a crisis keynes was addressing this and he could see that we want to increase aggregate demand in order to increase aggregate demand we should have some income and how can you get some income so this aggregate demand comes with increase in income only with income you can purchase and how can income increase it is with employment only and for employment you have to reduce the unemployment scenario it is only by reducing unemployment scenario you can create more employment or you can say in other words by reducing unemployment you can create more employment or in order to reduce unemployment it is very much essential to create so much of employment opportunities and thus opportunities will be increasing income and that would increase aggregate demand so this is how we can deal with the uh, recessionary or depression related things in the economy that is what keynesian economics and keynesian economists supported regarding monetarism and monetarist economics they were always finding importance to 
they were always attaching importance to the role of inflation and they believed that uh, it is important to have a control over the inflation that is better and that would be the top priority of the central bank and if you know we do have a trade off between inflation and unemployment it the curve is known as phillips curve which actually explains the trade off between inflation and unemployment we measure unemployment along the x axis and inflation along the y axis so the trade off happens like this and for the very same reason uh, keynes as well as uh, keynesian economics as well as monetary economics both were addressing the different sides of the same coin in order to reduce inflation uh, you have to suffer some more unemployment in order to reduce uh, unemployment you have to suffer some more inflation in the economy and that is how it goes especially when there is such a trade off between inflation and unemployment in the market so that is all regarding the basic differences between keynesian economics and the monetary economics i hope you understand uh, and i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos uh, thank you for watching and you can also join our free telegram community i'll be providing the link of the very same in the description box also you can download the learn economy app for which also link is given in the description box that's it once again thank you